The International Business Times is reporting that the tension between Russia and Turkey is super high since Turkey shot down a Russian plane. Uh, Putin gave his State of the Nation address, and he made some comments that are generating headlines. Quote, after saying Turkish leaders will regret shooting down a Russian fighter jet, Putin said, Allah decided to punish Tur Turkey's leaders by making them lose their minds. So, naturally, for those of you who follow politics closely and you know about Tayyip Erdogan, who's the Prime Minister, or, or used to be the Prime Minister, I'm sorry, and is the President in Turkey, um, you're, you know that he's going to get all outraged and mad over this. And I mean, that, that's the kind of guy, Erdogan is the kind of guy who, by shooting down this Russian plane, he's so arrogant and stupid that like, he probably didn't even realize that, hey, dunce boy, you made it so that we're on the verge of World War III, you happy? You happy? I, I can't stand him. But anyway, uh, so I don't like Vladimir Putin, but is that comment true? Yes. Tayyip Erdogan is, without question, a fundamentalist Muslim. He's been doing more attacks on the Kurds who are fighting ISIS than he's done on ISIS. That tells you all you need to know about Tayyip Erdogan right there. Uh, so Putin has said that Turkish officials are, quote, accomplices of terrorists. And the Russian defense minister said Erdogan and his family had personal ties to the ISIS oil trade. Quote, President Erdogan and his family are involved in this criminal business. We know the price of Erdogan's words. Turkish leaders won't step down and they won't acknowledge anything even if their faces are smeared with the stolen oil. So Erdogan had responded to some of these charges, and he said, if, if that's proven, I will step down. So he's like, I have not, I would, would never, my country would never do any business at all to get oil from ISIS people. Um, I'll go on the record right now. I don't believe him. I do think that he's in, involved in business dealings with them. And again, it's not like it's hidden. It's not like we don't know what he's doing. There, it's been reported all over the place. He is attacking the Kurds more than he's attacking ISIS. And the situation in which this Russian plane was shot down was really questionable, to say the least. Okay? All of the claims of the Turkish government are like, Really? You sure about that? They said they warned ten times. I don't believe that. They say they violated their airspace. Possibly. But if they were violating their airspace, what were they going to do? Were they going to fly all the way to the Turkish government and bomb it? No, they weren't going to do that. Nonsense. Who were the aggressors here? I think we know the answer to that. There wasn't even... Under international law, there has to be a warning shot. There wasn't a warning shot. That's a pretty big point right there, and I haven't seen very many people bring that up. So, and Putin, for those of you who don't understand the conflict in detail, don't worry, a lot of people don't, but... So you have Syria's just over the border of Turkey, and you have uh, Russia and Putin fighting on the side of the Assad regime, and, you, and Assad is uh, an Alawite, a Shia, so the Turkish government doesn't like him, they're Sunni, and... Uh, so Turkey has kind of more been aligned with the rebels in Syria. But on the rebel side, while everybody pretends and there's this charade like there are oh, so many moderate rebels, most of the rebels are ISIS and al-Nusra, who are the al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria. So this is why, you know, this idea that he's involved in the oil trade and getting oil from ISIS, that's why it's totally not outlandish. You know, some people in the media might be like, my goodness! Did you accuse the Turkish government of doing some wrongdoing? <laughs> Fuck yeah, of course, of course. There's evidence that, you know, they've been tampering with elections. And Erdogan's doing massive power grabs, restricting civil liberties. We're gonna get to a story later, he's locking somebody up for literally just making fun of him. He locked a kid up for pulling down an Erdogan poster. This guy, he's a fundamentalist Muslim and he has that authoritarian streak in him. So, and this is not to say Putin's a good guy. He's not a good guy. He's not a good guy. But is he right about the shit he's saying about Turkey and Erdogan? Most likely, yeah.